Hi, Leo. This is a general reading for the sign of Leo. If you have Leo anywhere in your birth chart, please know that there is a message in this reading for you. It is a general reading, so take what resonates and leave the rest. Always practice good discernment when looking or seeking um, information. You know what is for you and what is not for you. Thank you, Spirit. Messages for the sign of Leo. Also, Leo, I do believe that knowledge is power, and I do try to share as much information as I possibly can. During this reading, do watch for the pop-ups and the uh, additional information that will come up for you during this reading. Many times during editing or before I um, upload a reading, um, I will be drawn or pulled towards adding additional information that I feel may be helpful for you at this time. Knowledge is power. The more information that we have, the better we are able to navigate during this time of our lives, during this stage of our lives. And Spirit will use any and all means necessary available or open to you to get that message to you. Thank you, Spirit. Messages for the sign of Leo. Also, Leo, this month, the new moon moves through Virgo. And as the moon moves through Virgo, things may seem a little bit chaotic and a little bit disorientated we will all be finding ourselves seeking order and clarity. Um, our emotions may also be running amok, maybe a lot of emotional fluctuations, and we're not knowing or understanding where those are coming from. Um, those emotional fluctuations are actually coming from the moon moving through Virgo. And that is spirit's way of asking us or drawing our attention to being more tolerant of not only ourselves, but of, of others around us. And always remember, Leo, that what is meant for us will always find a way into our lives and what is not meant for us will find a way out of our lives. The foundation of this reading is the Three of Cups. I love that Three of Cups. Let's move these over here just a little bit. And so that Three of Cups is about togetherness. It's about celebration. It's about happiness. And what can we do to find or to bring about or to bring that happiness, that means of celebration of togetherness into our, into our lives. Let's see how that three of cup plays into the rest of your reading, Leo. In your work life, in your professional life, you do have a lot of charm, Leo. And that charm has served you well. It has served you well. But it has served you well in the past. I see the wheel spinning here. And the wheel is spinning because there's changes. Because there's changes here for you. And you're meeting this change with resistance. You're meeting this change in your public... <coughs> <coughs> Sorry about that little bit of interruption, Leo. I had a little bit of a frog in my throat. And so back to your professional life, back to your public life, 
I see that you're meeting this change with a little bit of resistance. And I think that it starts with your, what has worked for you in the past is no longer working for you in the present. You are being asked to, or you have been requested to make changes. And this situation requires more than charm. And again, I think that um, your charm worked well for you in the past, and I think that your charm still is serving you, but it's not serving you like it has in the past. I think that action is being required of you, and actions speak louder than words. And so it's almost like maybe up until this point, um, you've been able to charm your way through or um, use your words, use your charm or your personality alone to succeed. But I think that you're coming to a stage or coming to a point in your career where you're going to need to balance that out with action, with movement. And so, you know, you can talk the talk, but can you walk the walk is really, I think, what is being asked for you to be demonstrating at this time. You are being asked to step out of your comfort zone and really show effort and dedication and commitment. And actions speak louder than words. You are really being asked to step up to the plate at this time. And I see the beautiful three of cups here for you, Leo. And so that's telling me that you do have the skill set. You do have the ability to put action into this situation, to put motion into this situation. But you are going to have to be the one that initiates this. You are going to have to be the one to take that first step. Lead by example. And so, you know, a good leader leads by example. And so you are being asked to find balance between words and action. More action is needed here for you in your professional life, in your public life, Leo. In your home life, in your private life, change family legacy family memories we have you here with a new beginning unexpected events and obstacles have been blocking your progress. And you're feeling discouragement. You're feeling discouraged and frustrated. And it's almost like you've given in to being stuck in a state of worry and being stuck in focusing your energies in the wrong direction, focusing your energies on the wrong thing. And the more you're focusing, the more you're worrying the more resistance that you are experiencing. What we place our energy in, what we place our thoughts on, is what we attract. 
And so I think that you did hit a bump in the road. And because you've hit that bump in the road, it's kind of has you stuck in this cycle. And I think in part why you may be stuck in this cycle, Leo, is because of Mercury being retrograde in your house of value and self-worth. And so when a planet goes retrograde, Leo, what happens is that that planet retrograde really helps shine light or really helps bring to our attention parts of our shadow self that are hindering our life's journey, that are hindering aligning with our life's path, aligning with our authentic self. And I really do believe that that is what you are experiencing now, or what you are gaining insight to. Another way to help gain insight to that Leo, and I do believe that that is why this Emperor card he is here, because the Emperor card does represent the sign of Leo. And so when I see Leo show up in the reading for Leo, that just lets me know that you are operating either in your sun sign or in your shadow self. And I do believe at this time you are operating in your shadow self. And our shadow self is really different um, for each of us according to our birth chart. So I would recommend having a birth chart done. You can have a free birth chart done um, on numerous different uh, websites. I'll post links to those uh, free websites uh, in the description box. But by having a birth chart done, Leo, it will help you gain insight on your life's purpose, why you have chosen to be here in this body in this world in this universe in this form at this time and your shadow self just shines light on or demonstrates um what you were sent here to work on what you were sent here to improve obstacles that you were um sent here or chose to be here to work on and I think that at this time, especially with that Mercury being retrograde, it does have a little bit to do with your self-worth. And the self-worth that was formed for you in childhood memories, there's some childhood memories that you're experiencing at this time that is hindering your process. Some childhood memories that have skewered your feelings of self-worth and skewered your sense of value. And you can take this time to look at those and analyze those and recategorize those because you are a very worthy person. You are better than what you think you are. You are better than what you think you are. And it's about you finding value in your soul, finding value 
in your very essence. And so when, and isn't it funny that we have the Nine of Pentacles and we have the Page of Pentacles. And when we look at these, the Knight and Page of Pentacles, we see how they're handling the Pentacle. And I think for you in this reading, Leo, the Pentacle is representative of your soul, representative of your essence. And so when we start this journey, we actually see the Knight here looking past the pentacle, looking past the soul, looking past the essence. And I think that that's what you've been doing. You've been looking past your real essence and really looking past your true value and the importance that you play in your life, in this world at this time. You've been looking past that. And Spirit is asking you to look at your soul, to look at your spirit, to really delve into your true essence and really look at and value what and who you are at the core of your being and how important you are in this life and how important you are to those that you come in contact with. And I think it's not only those that you come in contact with in your private life, but those that you come in contact with in your professional life, those that you come in contact with at the store, those that you come in contact with as you're living your daily life, you bring an added value to people's lives. And I don't think that you are seeing that. I don't think that you are aware of it at this time. And Spirit is giving you this opportunity to really go within and seek that. Final thoughts, finding, final thoughts, final messages. And I love that we have this page of cups. And so this page of cups is the student. This page of cups is also known as the student. And Spirit is asking for you at this time to become the student and to become the student of the spiritual. Adding a spiritual practice to your life can help you uplift your mood, can help you uplift your thoughts. And so a spiritual practice can be simple, it can be as complicated as you need to make it. But adding a spiritual practice to your life, it could be a spiritual practice of meditation. It could be a spiritual practice of grounding. It could be a spiritual practice of chanting or a spiritual practice of gratitude. But that spiritual practice will help you in your journey of connecting with your spiritual, connecting with your soul, connecting with your essence. And the more that you are able to connect with your true essence, your true sense of self-worth and finding your self-worth and finding your value, the more rich and fulfilling your life is going to become. And that is the message that I have for the sign of Leo. Thank you, Leo. You have a blessed week.